After the death of Alexander the Great, Alexander's empire fell apart. The individual princes, who often had old companions and companions on horseback helped them conquer Persia, and who were later entrusted with the administration of the satrapies in Alexander's empire, fought brutally against each other in the Diadochi Wars. Greece, Corinth, Athens, and Sparta also gained their autonomy and the Macedonian spread of power over Asia died out. Greece saw itself as the center of the world until it realized after the Persian Wars that it was surrounded by enemies. Countless other empires. From all sides. Greek colonization in Italy began as early as the 8th century BC. Just like the Canaanites from the Phoenician homeland in the 12th century BC. In ancient times, Carthage was initially the capital of the maritime and trading power of the same name. The inhabitants were called Punicians, derived from Phoenicians, by the Romans. The Greeks sent colonists to Italy around 800 BC. Achaia and Locris on the Gulf of Corinth initially played a decisive role in the Greek settlement of southern Italy. In the decades before and after 700 BC, Regio Calabria, Pistum, Croton, Cyprus, and Metapont were founded. They were founded by Achaean settlers, while Locroi Epizephiriui were founded by settlers from Locris. Taranto was the only Spartan colony, and numerous other settlements were established there. The Greek colonization of Sicily also fundamentally changed the situation there. Chalkis on Euboea was initially the driving force. At the end of the 8th century, Ortigia was settled, which became the starting point for the later Corinthian foundation of Syracuse. This foundation was followed by Messina and Region. On the south coast, Gela was founded from Rhodes and from their Acragas. In the far west of the island, however, the Phoenicians predominate. Lower Italy was considered Greater Greece, Magna Graecia. In the 8th century BC, Phoenicians began to establish trading posts on the west coast of Sicily, such as Modia or Palermo. They used the posts as warehouses and stations for long-distance Mediterranean trade, so there were rarely any conflicts with the Sicanians and Elimians living there. On the other hand, there were open conflicts with the Greeks, which culminated in the Battle of Himera, 480 BC. The battle was triggered by the expulsion of Tarillos, the ruler of Himera, by Theron of Acragas in 483 BC. Tarillos asked the Carthaginians for help, who then assembled a large force, as they expected resistance not only from Theron but also from Gelan. However, the Carthaginian army was probably larger than the Greek one. The Carthaginian fleet landed unhindered at Panormos and marched towards Himera, where Hamilcar pitched his tent west of the city. His fleet ran aground at the mouth of the river, where the port was located. Then Gelan, who was camped south of Himera, appeared with about 24,000 infantry and 2,000 horsemen. Gelan had intercepted a message from Hamilcar to the city of Salinas, in which he requested the cavalry division promised by the city. He then sent his own cavalry to the agreed meeting point near the Carthaginian ships. The guards were deceived and thought the arriving riders were the expected cavalry detachment from Salinas. The Syracusans managed to set fire to the Carthaginian ships and kill the completely unprepared Hamilcar. According to a Carthaginian report handed down by Herodotus, Hamilcar sacrificed himself to the gods by throwing himself into the fire. After this coup, the Greeks attacked the Carthaginian camp. The leaderless and demoralized defenders offered little resistance. Since the ships were mostly destroyed, they had no chance of escaping and were taken prisoner. After this devastating defeat, Carthage asked for peace. Gelan granted it under relatively lenient conditions. Carthage had to pay war reparations of 2,000 talents in the form of over 50 tons of silver and financed the construction of two temples. This led to a peace between Carthage and the Sicilian cities that lasted for around 70 years. In the following centuries, the Greek victory at Himera was exaggerated in historiography, which began with the first Pythian ode by the poet Pindar. The formation of the legend of the barbaric threat to civilization, i.e. Greece, 
by Carthage began and was supplemented by the fact that the Persians suffered a defeat against the Greeks in the Battle of Salamis at the same time as the Battle of Himera. This gave rise to the myth that not only did the two battles take place on the same day, but that the Persians and Carthaginians also discussed and coordinated their operations. Gelan, celebrated as a hero, is one of the most qualified figures in this account. A similar development took place in Sardinia, where the Phoenicians also established bases from the 8th century onwards, such as Karali, Cagliari, Lidonora, Sulci, or Theros. Here they were able to gain a foothold in Sardinia in 540 BC. The Greek settlement in Aelalia on neighboring Corsica was ended in a naval battle in 568 BC. Since the Phoenician mother city of Tyre was taken by Babylon and later by the Persians, Carthage became the dominant city in the western Mediterranean. In contrast to Sicily, systematic settlement began in Carthage on Sardinia, similar to that in Corsica. At that time it was a small, inconspicuous city in central Italy, 